Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 2. Since the last episode, I've done a little bit of work around the base, uh, namely downstairs actually, uh, around our um, applied energistics and thermal expansion processing stuff, so let me go ahead and show you guys that real fast. Um, I thought it looked pretty good. I tried to hide everything as best as I could. Um, <laughs> I under Rocky, what are you doing? I don't have anything for you. Sit, sit. Are you doing that thing again? Why aren't you listening? Stay, stay down here. In fact, where's, don't we have like a, I think there's a, uh, another little guest we have down here somewhere. He was roaming around down here a minute ago. I don't know if he's still down here. Oh, I guess he isn't. Rocky, what, stop following me. Yeah, I thought he was. Maybe he's upstairs? He shouldn't have despawned. Might be upstairs. Let me check real quick. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Hello? Is anyone else here? Um, why is there a creeper showing? Oh, right. There's a um, there's a creeper in here. <laughs> he must have went through the portal outside where the uh, baby cows go through. So, you're stuck in there, buddy. Hope you live a long, peaceful life in there. So, anyway, what I want to work on today is upstairs. Oh, now you sit. Now you listen. Go figure. Anyways, um, I want to work upstairs today in our uh, little Thomcraft area. Uh, but this is actually what I came up with. So, uh, if you guys remember, we have a um, cable running down underneath here. So, I went ahead and raised up the floor a little bit with these um, panels here. And then... Basically, just put uh, stone covers along the front of everything to hide the cables. I figured it wouldn't look too bad if we just kind of made it, you know, flush everywhere else except with the machines. I kind of like the machines kind of being dented in a little bit. I think it adds a little bit to a little bit of this, uh, you know, cubby hole here. But I, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. So, I'm going to leave it as is. If I need to update it or upgrade it or add anything else to it, hopefully I have access to that and I can just break a few things. I don't want to break all of it down. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and head upstairs. I've been doing a little bit of testing here and there. Um, by testing, I mean <laughs> trying to figure out how I want to set this up. I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, basically, what I want to do is wind up moving these to where this um, infusion altar or is that what it's called fusion altar I think it is uh, we'll still have access to the essentia jars so I was thinking I'm out pulling it up above here but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for what I want to do um, so I might wind up moving it let's see air sigil Ooh, hey oh, darn it there we go we'll get up here I might actually put it like here but in doing so it's probably gonna wind up being like a dome and if it is, I might do something to where it has like a little bit of a skylight underneath so that way we can see it when we come into the house. Like you'd look up and you'd be like, whoa, there's a dome. All right, that, that's just coincidence. Be like, whoa, there's a dome up there, you know. <laughs> we can see what's going on. So that's kind of the idea, I think. I might wind up doing that. So I've done a little bit of research in the meantime in the Thumbanomicon. Uh, I went ahead and researched uh, Mirror Magic and then unlocked Essentia Mirrors. So I'm going to give that a go here in just a minute. Uh, first, we're going to need to make up some mirrored glass. So I need two of those. That's going to be Quicksilver and Glass Panes. Do I have any of that? All right, glass Panes and Quicksilver. Ah, there we go. Actually, you know what? That doesn't even belong in there anyway, so we'll just pull it all out. Put this there, you and you. It's gonna require a little bit of V. Nice. Mirror glass. Alright, now what's next? Tell me, O book of Thumbanomicon. Alright, I need iron, ender pearls, and a little ooh, whoa, instability high. <laughs> I know how to stabilize this, but you know what? I'm not going to. Not for this at least. I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know, I easily could. I just need some mob heads. Um, I think... I'm not sure. I think the uh, V crystals help. I'm not 100% certain on this. I think it'll tell you actually in here somewhere. Where's this? Infusion. 
Uh, let's see. It should say something about instability in here somewhere, and I'm just kind of quick scanning over things. Uh, there it is. Involves forcing energies into a single object. Um, oh, see, look, that looks. I like the way that looks. I love. I love the uh, stone. Can reuse by various means. Firstly, wish uh, symmetrical as possible. And let's see. So here we go. Candles, skulls, crystals, etc. So yeah, crystals do work. Nice. Uh, maybe we can make some of those. I think we have plenty of crystals actually. Yeah. See, we have a lot of them in here. Uh, let's do like twelve of those. We'll make twelve of these. Thank you, Creeper. That was very nice of you. Um, that should be more than enough, right? It's like two of each. Two of those. Two of those. And two of those. Put one there. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do a few. Maybe we'll just do blue, which is aqua, and then the entropy. For now. All right, let's pick this guy up. We'll put those there. I might switch these out later on. But that's what I'm going to be trying to do today, is finding an area and setting it up for these jars. So we need to put that in the middle. We need to have access to our network. So let's grab a few ender pearls. Let's grab some iron. Corey's been doing great. Auto processing has been getting us a good amount of ingots coming in. Check that out. Ah, oh, I love having all those ingots. It's beautiful. All right, so we need three iron ingots. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Trying to set this up as balanced as possible. And that should be pretty good. I guess all we need now are the aspects. And we're going to need two Essentia mirrors. So I'm going to need 16 aqua, iter, and Permutatio, so aqua. Do we have any aqua? Any aqua at all? We've got a little bit. I can't really see. Seven? Okay, we got seven aqua. Do we have permutatio anywhere? No. Okay. So we're gonna need some permutatio. I think I get permutatio by Quicksilver. That's where I like to get it. So how much do we need again? Sixteen? Yeah, 16. I'll probably do like... Maybe 24. So we'll do like 12 of those. Let's go ahead and pop this guy in here. Get that going. Melting down. To aspect form. And then Iter. Iter, I like to use boats myself. So... Let's use the great wood. We got a ton of great wood everywhere, so... We'll just use that. Oh, ooh, stop that. Work the way I want you to. See? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then I'll actually give us some more aqua as well, so that's even better. All right, so this is filtering out. Great. And where are my files? Ah, there you are. And put the paper and thing away. Right, and metallum. Do I have any metallum laying around? Metallum, 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 metallum. I don't. Oh, there it is. Now I'm hoping to also get myself a golem to do this for me. All right, so that should be enough permutatio. I don't really want any of that. I'm not really. Eh, not really in need of metallum at the moment, so we'll put that away. All right, we'll get the boat going. All right, hopefully this works the way I want it to. Um, if it does, I'm probably going to wind up doing a little bit of building myself because this is going to be kind of a lot of trial and error, so I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> I want it to, to look pretty good, so hopefully I'm going to give it a shot and try to get it right up here. Ooh, I shot that a little bit. So, with that being the case, maybe I could just... I think I want to make a builder's guide real quick. Which is going to require a little bit of... 
glass. I want to see if I can make just like a small dome right there. Because I am not amazing at making domes. So this would be like the center right there, right? Whoa, that's a little too big. So let's push this in a little bit. I think it would be in here. Oh, let's right click. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's making it bigger. So if we made it to maybe there. That's expanding. Don't expand that way. Expand this way. Maybe to there. And that's a little bit too tall, so I'd have to get underneath this guy. Maybe a five? Oh, hello. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, but it's not going to be very big. I'm not going to be able to do many Essentia jars. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to rethink that a little bit, too. It was just a thought, for the most part. But I think it would be really awesome if we, if I could do that. I just don't have enough room up here with the uh, the roof as it is. I mean, I could put the dome, like, centered in this area here. And have the dome coming out like that. But then it would also probably wind up getting rid of a lot of that. I just think it would look kind of weird, but it could be kind of cool in the same same time. Alright, let, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to get aqua put up. I don't want any arbor, so we'll just get rid of that. I need a room for iter. Iter, iter. There's some... I need to make more jars. <laughs> I really do. Alright, um... You, go away. I think that's everything cleared out. Let's go ahead and check the book real fast. Alright, so we need eight Eiter, which we have. Eight Permutatio, alright. I might need a little bit more of that if this messes up too bad. But let's put these on our hot bar and hope for the best. Right, come on, buddy. You can do this. Give me my Essentia mirrors. Oh man, this is so cool. I love this. I love this form of crafting. It's beautiful. Alright, so we're not doing too bad. I think we've actually got that one done. Nice. There we go. So there's one down. One to go. Didn't have any instability that time, I don't think. Didn't see, I didn't actually see anything, so I don't think we did. Oh, hello. Yeah, use the Eiter first. Thank you. Alright, so we have a little bit of permutatio left. Then you should start drawing in the items. Then we'll have ourselves two mirrors. I'll try to get the... Ow! There's... Yeah, that, that, that was a little instability, I think. Nice. Two mirrors. Perfect. Since you mirrors. All right, so guys, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna do a little bit of building real fast, um, just because, like I said, a lot of trial and error. This is how I build. Um, you know, I don't mind doing it on camera, but there's a few other things I'd like to get done today too. Besides this, plus actually setting up the area. So I'm gonna try and get it at least somewhat built, and then um, we'll try and get it all set up. So I'll see you guys back here when I'm done. Alright guys, so after a few attempts, I finally came up with a design that I rather enjoyed. Uh, it's a nice looking skylight, I think. Got a little bit of a, a design to it. Uh, something eh, decent to look at as you're walking into the manor. You look up and you're like, whoa, look at that skylight. <laughs> you can also see the uh, Sentia jars as well. So I went ahead and made a few extras, placed those in there. I also went ahead and crafted a clay golem that we should be using in a moment. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how I plan on doing this. So I don't know if I want to set up like a chest right here or not, or if I just want to like access the alchemical furnace from here. Uh, we'll be able to manually put in either coal and then any item that we want, which will have the golem sitting up in the room. So let me get up there. Oop. That's how I've been getting up here. Uh, so he'll be just sitting like right here. I might have to move this out now that I think about it. 
Otherwise, that might not work too well. We'll see. Hopefully, that'll work. We'll try it. And you should be able to fill up all the jars. Now, I know this isn't enough jars to cover all of the aspects. I don't really plan on getting all of the aspects built up and backlogged. Um, so... I'm just going to try this out for now. If I can figure out how to squeeze a few more in here, then I might wind up doing that. But for now, I think this will be fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and hook up our Essentia mirrors. So I was thinking, like, I can't really put them on these because these are mostly, like, micro blocks and stuff like that. Um, I can't put it down on the glass, unfortunately. Wish I could. Um, and I can't put it up there either, so I think I'm going to break that. We're going to put a stone block there, arcane stone block, plop our mirror there. So if I right click on that, that should bind it. There we go. So those two are binded together. And then I'm thinking about taking a piece of stone, placing it right there. And then we should be able to take this, place it there. Nice. All right, so those two should be linked together, and it should be able to draw the essence through the mirror, and it might even still be close enough to do it, but just to make sure, I went ahead and make the mirrors, because the I do like the mirrors, too. I think they look really cool. So we're going to give this a try, and hopefully see if this will work for us. So we got a clay golem. I'm going to set him up over here. In fact, I'm going to get a better way of going up there. I think... Yeah, we got some string. There we go. We'll just do this. Oops. Too much. There we go. I need three sticks, six string, and we make a rope ladder. Uh, this is probably just going to be a little bit temporary, but I'm going to place that right there. It'll make a nice little easy way for me to get up and down from there. So you... Can I, like... I don't know. I might have to pick this block up. I think I have to right-click them on the actual... Um, a chemical furnace there, like that. He should still be able to reach all of that for the most part, though, I'm, I imagine. So, we're going to leave him there for now. I need to get him a golem core. Let's see, which one is it? I think it's this one, the alchemy, which I'm going to need a decanting golem core. And to get that one, we just need a regular golem core, uh, five aqua, and five vacuos. All right. Ew. Don't have any golem animation cores. I need to make one. So, do I have any bricks? Oh, good, we do. Well, I'll just pull all those out then. Luckily enough, we already have a little bit of niter, which will make this a lot easier. Uh, let's use this wand. There we go. Hey, you get down there. Thank you. Uh, you need to get filled. Uh, where's my bucket? You, you, and you. Nice. I love that sink. It works so well. All right, so next up, I need five vacuos and five aqua. So, hmm. I wish there, well, I haven't even scanned a bucket yet. Maybe I should do that real quick. Where's my uh, thermometer? You? No! Ah, stupid magnet. In fact, I haven't even scanned the magnet yet. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, maybe it did, and I just didn't notice it. Silly diddly. Alright. Well, that's only one? Wow. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think what I want to use, though, I think I'm going to use glass bottles. So let me go ahead and scan these real fast. That gives us one vacuos and one Vietris. And if I'm not mistaken, if I fill these guys up, we get one Aqua and one Vietris. Cool. All right, that'll work for me. Is that guy trying to get in here again? He sure is. He's a dedicated little fella. I'll give him that. Alright, so let's go ahead and toss those three in. And we'll toss these two in. Still need one more regular bottle. 
five of those, one animation core. There we go, decanting. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, we need to actually do a little arcane infusion on this next one. So we're gonna need a water jar, three water bottles. So I'm gonna need more glass. Nice, Um, I got plenty of that. Let's go ahead and pull another stack up here. Few more water bottles, put those there. Oops, not that one. <laughs> Alright, and then we put that away. Nice. Alright. We need seven pains. Put those in there. I need a whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you do that. Don't do that. Stop. I'm working here. Alright, and you. There's a water jar. All right, let's go place these down real quick. So I need that there. Three water bottles. All right, that looks like it's evenly spaced. And then we need the animation core in the middle. All right, now we just need the actual Essentia to do this. Let's make sure we got everything. 15 Aqua, 15 Modus, and 15 Prakantatio. Let's come up here and check real quick. Oh, I don't have my goggles on. Drant. Here, let's go ahead and quickly swap out. Went ahead and add that pressure plate in there so I could shift right click and swap out my entire, um, I guess, armor set. Uh, let's see. All right, good. We got a perfect 15 there. We need more aqua. And I need more. More. I don't even think I have any. I don't even have any modus. All right, let me go get that hooked up real quick. I think for Modus, here you can come back. Ah, yeah, there we go, trap doors. Let's do, do 24, divisible by eight, so that should work. Let's grab some coal, pop this into the alchemical furnace to cook down real fast. Now I also need a source of water. And I could use the water shards. How many do we have in our network? Oh yeah, we'll just use some water shards. I got more than enough. Probably am not even going to use that many. So we'll just do that. That'll give us a decent source of aqua. Yeah, a little bit more prakin or not prank. Is that prakantatio? Yeah, that's prakantatio. And then uh, a little bit of Beatrice. That'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook down real fast. I'm going to probably transfer this over myself. And once I get all these uh, uh, jars of Essentia hooked up, we're going to attempt this arcane infusion with these uh, Essentia mirrors. All right, guys. Just finished moving over the last little bit that we needed. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. So we got over 15 Prankentatio. We got over 15 Aqua. And we have over 15 Modus. So we got 24, 31, and... What is that? I can't read that. 39. There we go. So that'll work there. Let's go ahead and head up here. We will right click this guy with a wand. Boom. There we go. Let's hope this works. Oop, it's drawing. It's actually drawing the um, aspects in. Look at that. You can tell by the uh, whale of tooltip at the top. And we're not getting like the fancy effects. Oops, hello. You come back here. I'm gonna put that there for now. Hopefully we can fix instabilities in a minute. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting a little FPS lag here. But it's, everything looks like it's working just fine too. Might have to pull that up just a little bit more. I might even move that. But there we go, we got a Golem Animation Core of Alchemy. Nice. I'm gonna have to clean this whole mess up now, aren't I? Drant. Get out of here. You, you, bye, get out of here. This is my magical area, not your little, little flux garbage place. Your dump, whatever you want to call it. It's mine. All right, there we go, that should work. All right, I think I might pick that up and move that. Because I do like the effects that it shows when it, you know, infuses all of the um, stuff that we got. So I might put this, like... Maybe like right here. That way we can watch it like go over our heads and everything. That would be awesome. 
Alright, let's go ahead and hook this little fella up. Alright, Ben, here you go. I bring you life. You're welcome. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can maybe do another um, arcane infusion quickly. Uh, what do I want to do? Artifice. What do we have? Let's see. Ooh, an infernal furnace. I like those. Um, hmm. Gallomancy. Do we have anything in here? No. Thaumaturgy, maybe? What about a uh, wand focus? Maybe, maybe a wand focus portable hole. Maybe that'll be kind of cool. All right, let me go do a little bit of quick research. This shouldn't take too long. Grab my paper, scribing tools. Go ahead and set that up real fast. We'll pop this into the table. And I'll go ahead and do a little bit of uh, quick research. All right, and this should finish off our research for the wand focus portable hole. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Research completed. One focus, portable hole. All right, nice. Uh, you have succeeded in using V to create a extra dimensional spaces. Or not A, but extra dimensional spaces. Using this focus on a wall or other surface will create an extra dimensional passage leading to the other side. That sounds a little frightening. Uh, this hole only remains open for a few seconds and drains V from the wand, depending on its depth. Yeah, that just I'm just saying that sounds <laughs> uh, a little frightening. I know the actual uh, wand focus, uh, the uh, portable hole, is actually not at all. So, uh, what do we need for this anyway? So, some nether quartz, air shard, earth shard, entropy shard. Air, entropy, oops, too much. And earth. Did I do that right? Yeah, those three. Um, I need a... Oops. Hmm. I'm going to need to clean up my inventory for one. So get all these silverwood planks out of there. Uh, I had attempted to try to start working on this side of the roof, but, um, yeah, I didn't really like how it was turning out, so I'm going to have to do that off camera. All right, let's go ahead and do that and that. Put that away. Put the bucket back in there. That way I know where it's at. All right, let's grab a ender pearl. That one goes in the center, so we don't need to worry about pulling any extras of those out. Don't I have any nether quartz? Ah, there we go. And I'll pull out a few of those. If I need um, more of these shards, I'll just grab them. They're just right there in the chest. All right, so one, two, three. Put the earth, entropy, and air shards down. All right, that should work. Now, what kind of sentia are we talking? 10 alienists, 25 eider. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get started on this then. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit, I think. I'm going to try some great wood. Because I need some boats. That's got a little bit of eider on there for us. I'm going to grab eight of these. So that should give me 32 eider. And should give me plenty of aqua for later if I need it. So if we toss these guys in there, my little golem buddy up there should be working, getting all those things moved into the appropriate jars. All right, so we got that. I think I might have some perdito. I might need to get some more. Uh, and I might have enough permutatio, but I do need some alienness. I'm pretty sure of that. Let me uh, double check real fast. Then we can also see how this guy's doing. How you doing, bud? Oh, right. I got to set him up. Um, Where's my Gollomancer spell? Totally forgot about this. You hook up to these jars. These and these. Just like that. Why aren't you doing stuff? Did it? Did it? Oh, whoops. See, so is it Shift F to reset? Right, yes, I want you to do that one, that, and this. Wait, what's wrong with you? 
I gave you life and this is how you were paying me. Come on, man. How hard is this? There's stuff in there for you to do. Look at that. Look, there's so... And I don't even want that. You just get out of there. Like, seriously, man. What's going on? All right, guys. Well, I guess he's working now, finally. Uh, I went ahead and set him up with the Gallarmancer's Bell. I right-clicked him onto one of the Olympics. It seems to be working, but I... I remember doing it on the actual um, alchemical furnace before, and it was working fine. So I don't know uh, what your little problem is, guy, but stop. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, double check what all I have up here. I don't think I have any alienists, so pretty sure we can get that from Ender Pearls. So I want about four of those, I think. I actually get Iter from that too. Whoops, didn't need the boats, did I? My bad. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that first. All right, and I don't see... Oh, there's a little permutatio, but I don't feel like I have enough. Uh, oops, we're not doing that. We're doing artifice. Nope, no thaumaturgy. <laughs> Whoops. All right, I need... Oh, I also need perdito. So I need ten permutatio. How much of this stuff do I have? It's kind of hard to read it when it's back in the corner, so it only looks like I have seven of those. Um, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it cobblestone that we get a lot of that from yeah there we go we got plenty of cobblestone all right I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into oops all right well we'll just um yeah that's fine <laughs> I didn't want to put an entire snack in there all right I'm gonna let that burn down for a second and then I need a little bit of permutatio I think I can use quicksilver for that as well yeah, there we go. So we'll just put like eight of those in there as well. So let me finish cooking these things down. And we'll be right back. Alright, little buddy. I made you an upgrade. Here you go. Here's an earth upgrade for you. So that should allow you to carry a little bit more back and forth between the Alembics and the uh, Essentia jars. So hopefully that'll help you out a bit. Um, I might wind up adding another golem up here at some point. Might be kind of nice. I don't know if I will or not. We'll see. Uh, but we should have everything ready to go. We should be able to start our arcane infusion. We got our iter. Got plenty of permutatio, pracantatio, and perdito. So let's go ahead and initiate our arcane infusion. Hopefully, we can actually see it coming out now. Well, I guess not. I thought we can actually watch it coming out the Essentia mirrors. Oh, that stinks. Well, at least it's working, though. We don't have to, like, cramp the jars up in here and make it all feel all, you know, cramped together, and we don't have enough room to do much moving around, even though we really don't already. Uh, but this is kind of nice. This should work just fine. All right, so, yeah, we got everything set up. We're good. It's about to finish up the last little bit of Perdito it needs. It's going to start pulling in the items now. Sweet. Oh, oh, oh wait, what's, what, what did it do? What did it do? Things happened. Uh, you, go there. I hope it has everything. Did it grab everything? Nope, it needs another piece of quartz, doesn't it? Take the quartz. Come on. Oh, there we go. Phew. Oh, I need to stabilize this more. <laughs> I don't think those crystals are doing their job. I might add a few more things very soon. But there we go. We got our wand focus portable hole. Awesome. I might even wind up doing a little bit of enchanting real fast. Um, just on this. Because I do have 40 levels of enchantment that we can put on there. But only really 30. So there we go. Uh, wait, 28. Oh, that's right. I'm missing a bookshelf. All right, you know what? Let's just grab this guy. There we go. Level 30. Potency 3, Frugal 3. You know what? That works for me. Put that back there. Hold F, and we'll do this. Sweet. Alright, so we should be able to basically open up whatever we want. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I would really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.